Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with collage, mark making and stencils to create this double spread in a 6x6 journal. So I'm starting off with my little white journal. You'll notice I've got some collage images kind of cut out already which had a bit of an idea of what I was going to use for, but not too much. So I just started in my journal with spraying some of the syrup gloss spray across the middle and then I've added some sand I think um, acrylic paint and some marine onto the page just to get a bit of a different color combination so um, yeah just sort of really sketchily adding straight paint on using the sand to kind of um, blend the blue out a little bit to um, create a softer effect almost so the marine's almost a petroly blue color um, and it gives a beautiful effect and then going and go in with some of these stencils so these are i think these ones are the living thing stencil and the other ones are growing thing stencil um, and they come with both the masks and the stencils so it comes with the inside bits as well that you can use both of them which makes it a really really handy stencil and mask stents set to have at this stage i was doing this and i wasn't 100 while i had those collage pieces i wasn't 100 percent sure how i was going to use them so i kind of did stenciling on one side and collage on the other um just to sort of balance it out a little bit so to put the collage images down i'm just using my gel medium and i've put a really thin layer underneath and then i'm using the rest of the gel medium that's on my brush to brush it down again now I've trimmed out my images really really close to um, the edge I don't like the halo effect I get from the collage images when they dry but if you trim them out quite close it sort of blends in enough and you know when you sort of look at this go on it looks almost transparent like you've stamped it on in reality if you look at the page it has not sort of an opaqueness that you don't really notice on screen I can kind of on that screen a little bit um, but I think some people think it, it the paper disappears completely and it doesn't it's just how you sort of learn to live with it the other thing I really like to do with um, images like this is to draw over the edges with the stipula oil pencil it just brings a little bit of blackness back onto the page to balance up both sides and I also like to put in the whites of the eyes again sort of drawing attention to the fact that they are actually eyes on the page they're not sort of just random blobs it is actually supposed to be people so one of the things that well, I really liked this sort of competition um, one of the things that was slightly bugging me about it was I had a lot of floating, floating heads on this page, which um, for those people who follow my channel for a little while know that I do like to ground things a little bit. So that was a little bit frustrating for me. I wasn't sure what to do with it. So while I was thinking about what to do, I decided to go back onto this other page and do some doodling. So um, I've just got a white Posca paint pen and I'm doing really sketchy loose lines over the top of my work and um, sort of creating the veins and the leaves some little dots and dashes onto the um, flower petals I suppose and um, just creating some interest in it so it takes away that really stark blackness on the page in actual fact it's not black it's um, Payne's grey so it's not quite as harsh as it would have been if it was pure black on the page now i'm going back to my figures and i'm just activating the stipula oil pencil so the stipula oil pencil is a water soluble pencil and um, when you put water on it obviously it sort of just melts the lines and gives you this really inky black line which is a really really simple way to sort of get shading on your page so i really love the pencil activated and non-activated uh, it's just one of those great workhorse pencils so I kind of liked what I had then but I often like to add text onto my page whether it's me writing myself or finding words somewhere so this text is from the Dina Wakeley alphabet tissues um, and it just has this I think it's Dina's writing um, beautiful sort of script 
down the bottom of just random words but it's got the words it is my soul so I thought I'd add those onto my page so again going back with my um, gel medium gluing it on someone recently actually asked me about my brush and the gel medium I've been using this brush for about three years and just off screen I've got a pot of water so once I finished using my gel medium I scrape off all the excess and just pop it straight into the um, tub of water when I want to use it again um, I just sort of dry it off with my paper towel and then use it again the brush is still soft after three years it, um, it's still usable so don't know how other people do it but that's that's how I look after my my brush so I've just gone in with a um, syrup color again to put in some um, splatter in the background and this is where I'm kind of working a little bit backwards from where I usually do if I'm doing mic making or stuff like this I tend to do it all before I put those focal images over the top so like the collage or that um, heavier stenciling of an actual image now I'm going and putting some mic making into the background so I'm you'll see I'm repeating colors I'm repeating the syrup I'm repeating the um, marine and just sort of going into those open areas and adding some interest um, to tie it all together a little bit. And I'm also going back in with, the, I think there's some sand or it might even just be white. Um, again, to sort of fill in those extra little bits. I'm using the same um, sponge as I use the marine though. So you'll notice it's sort of like pale white color. When I finished that, I decided I wanted to do some journaling on this page too, to add into it. And um, in this case, I'm sort of counting the journaling as part of the mic making. Um, I'm using a style of writing which is called Asemic writing, which is really loose and really scribbly, and in actual fact, it's barely legible. So I can't really go back and read this, partly because I'm writing in all sorts of different directions and all sorts of different areas. So even if I tried to read it, it wouldn't necessarily be logical. I'm sort of just dumping out my brain a little bit about why I like this page and what I meant by it is my soul on it. And um, it just adds into the texture and the line work of the page. So don't forget that when you're mic making, a lot of people say to me, oh, I can't mic make. Well, your writing is a, a type of mic making as well that you could write on your pages too. So I hope you have a go at doing this. Um, I had lots of fun making it. Until next time, bye for now.